I was the first one to say, like, this is gonna be huge. Um, Adam. Yes. Just, uh, I got your biography and one thing that stood out for me a little bit. Um, so I'll ask the question, what's your favorite Swedish black metal band? Uh, Swedish, I don't know. Uh, there are a few uh, from Norway though, uh, like Nagel Fall and uh, uh, Immortal, Dimmeborge, stuff like that. Yeah, is that, does each of you in the band listen a little bit to that or is it all spread out over the whole group? Uh, the black metal? Yeah, I mean, does that, yeah. Uh, well, <clears throat> I don't know, it's mostly me and uh, Jonas, our bass player, we're kind of into the metal thing. Okay. Uh, the, the other guys, it's very split. Uh, everyone listens to everything, basically. In our tour bus, it's everything from like Eminem to Bob Dylan to Behemoth to Cannibal Corpse to Nora Jones to John Williams' classical soundtracks and, you know, whatever. What did you got, discover through maybe some of your bandmates that you wouldn't listen to before that you actually started to like now? I, I kind of actually started liking Eminem a bit. I always had kind of a thing um, against that before, but I, uh, I find it pretty cool. Nowadays. What aspect in it can you describe? Uh, I don't know. I heard this song, Kim, where he's like uh, killing his girlfriend. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know why. Okay. Pretty morbid, but still. Yeah, lyric wise at least. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, because yeah, the, you obviously have known each other for a little while, but when, 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 uh, from what point did you actually start playing? Can you remember the first time you actually played together in this formation as it is now? <coughs> I think we had the first rehearsal in uh, November of 2007 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the th second or third rehearsal, we sat down and said, hey, you know, I, I feel something here. Y you feel the same way? I was like, yeah, I do. I think I do. And, and then we just decided very quickly that this is, this is what we're going to do. And this is our plan. And this is how we're going to get there. And, uh, OK. Of course, yeah. I had, had, did you play in bands before that that were less successful or where this feeling uh, well, didn't occur at the point? Well, I think we never, I, I've never in, been in a band that has ever made a serious commitment to actually getting, doing anything for real, except mm -hmm. just playing and having fun. Uh, but we've all been in bands in the past, uh, different kind of bands, just some cover bands and some garage bands and, you know, some original stuff also. But um, this was the first one for me where it f actually felt like a real, a real thing. We felt like we had something going uh, very early on. So, and can you describe what that was specifically? I used to describe it. Uh, I usually describe it as uh, trying to when you're in a, in a new relationship or something, and you try to like go to second base for the first time. You know, that ex that kind of excitement in your body where your heart's beating faster and your balls, are, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Mm -hmm. It just felt really fresh and new and exciting uh, and uh, like, like falling in love basically with three guys okay. at once. <laughs> a lot to choose from I think. <laughs> but then what, what was your, or yeah maybe just for you in person or for the event in the general, what was your life like? Did you study? Were you working beside that? Uh, actually uh, we all studied at uh, the Academy of Music uh, in Sweden at one time or another which is, is pretty much as high as you can get back mm -hmm. in Sweden. Uh, I didn't really care, I like it that much. I felt kind of misplaced. Uh, it worked out great, but I, it wasn't my thing. So I, I kind of jumped out, jumped out uh, after a year and a half or so. And uh, through that though, I met the other guys who were studying there. Uh, I didn't know them, but I knew about them. And uh, we just happened to meet them one night at a gig in a club somewhere. They just randomly were there and I was on stage doing some stuff. And uh, they came up to me afterwards and said, hey man, blah, 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 great stuff. And uh, we just decided to meet somewhere and play some songs. Did the other guys actually finish the academy? Uh, uh, one of them did. I think one of them has a degree. Uh, but, who, uh, who is that? Hannes, our guitar player. Yeah, he's the real deal. He's uh, actually... But did, did you still, w w when you were quitting, you, you had in mind to pursue a musical career where you were like, it's just my hobby yeah, that's, and I that's, see one? Yeah, that's the reason I quit. Okay. <clears throat> and it's uh, the reason everyone else had to quit after a while because uh, it got very, it got serious really fast and uh, started going pretty well, pretty fast also. And we just didn't have time for anything else. We don't have, we didn't have time for a day job. We didn't have time for, you know, school or anything. Uh, it's just this full on or nothing. So we decided to do this. But I mean, there is probably between this decision and the, the first moment of success that it started to pay off a little. Must be a little, yeah, a little bit time in between that. Was it a hard period to overcome or? Uh, in a way. Uh, 
Well, it's it's so it was so new back then, and it felt it still feels like uh, it still feels new. Uh, mm -hmm. We knew that it was going to be hard. We knew we were not going to get paid. We knew we were going to play every shithole in Sweden and every shithole in the rest of Europe, probably, and touring, you know, for for nothing and being away from home. Uh, so we knew about all that, and we just knew that if we're going to do this, there is only one way, and that's doing all this stuff. So. No problem, bring it on. What was it. from that moment no turning back or did you have like we try it for a year and see how it goes from there or? Uh, no, I think I was the first one to say like this is going to be huge, this is going to be, you know, we're going to have a record deal in, within a year and we're going to do this and the other guys were kind of okay, <laughs> you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But they also kind of quickly got into that thinking because we actually we really felt that we have something here and we're not going to just throw it away. Okay. Um, so. Uh.